Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this beautiful opportunity to spend time in God's Word and in prayer. Today we'll talk about a healing tongue. Proverbs chapter 12, 18 and 19. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever. People spend a great deal of time, energy and money in search of, of a way to promote health and wellness. One technique that they may overlook is found in the Bible. Not only can the tongue promote health and healing, but Proverbs 18.21 says, The tongue has the power of life and death. In these Proverbs and many other scripture passages, the word tongue refers to our spoken words. Reckless words can pierce like swords, leaving lifelong scars. Words do hurt and words do heal. The right words are like good medicine that can make a person well. Some people use their sword-like words to wound, give offense, promote corruption and injure reputation. Those are words of the reckless. In contrast to the tongue of the wise, whose wholesome words brings, bringing common sense, discernment, comfort, soundness, love, joy, peace, and benefit to others. Even when bringing reproof, the tongue of the wise is healing. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. A small rudder makes a ship turn wherever whenever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. Wholesome, godly words flowing from our mouths have the power to stimulate mental, physical and spiritual processes in our lives that can restore someone to good health and sound state. The tongue of the wise promotes health when God's people speak life-giving, edifying, compassionate, beneficial, appropriate words. As believers, we must learn to control our tongues. We must desire helpful, honest and healing communication. Saying what is factual or apparent may not be an, an, an excuse to hurt someone. Our words must seek to encourage even when admonition is needed. Helpful words begin with listening to those in relationship with us. Good counsel includes knowing the person we're talking to. Honest and healing words come from those who have learned to look at others through the eyes of Jesus. Jesus' words were wise and ours must be too. Words make a difference in our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's word. We thank you for teaching us Lord, that life and death are in the power of our tongue. And we pray, God, that as your children, we will speak words of life to build and equip and edify each other, Lord. We thank you. We submit ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.